Hi, I'm Luke Langelier with SNS Decent Motorsport. We want to do another quick tech video on a little more detail of the CP4 high pressure pump, like what is used in the 674 Power Stroke, and how our uh, CP4 bypass kit, or the AKA the disaster prevention kit, works and why it works. Uh, we did a previous video of base pump design, CP3 versus CP4, the two my, most widely used pumps uh, on the road and any of the uh, three quarter ton, one ton diesel pickups. Um, please check that out for a little more detail on why they are different and, uh, and pros and cons of both and why there are more failures of the CP4s. Uh, we'll post a link to that and you can check it out. Um, so this one basically want to go into a little more detail on how the kit works and why it works. There seems to be some misconception in the market about whether it works or not and how the pumps fail. Um, the kit does not protect from every failure mode, but it protects from the failure mode that is problematic and that causes catastrophic failure and everything else. So I want to show why that is and make sure that, uh, that it's a little easier to understand uh, and uh, clear up some, some of the confusion around that. So this is a power stroke CP4 pump. Obviously disassembled, pulled the cam, um, rollers and plungers and everything out of it. Um, this is what I refer to as the bottom end of the pump. This is the heads up here at the top end of the pump. So this is where the actual high pressure uh, inlet and outlet valves are. <clears throat> so the problem with this, and like I say, you can check out that other video for a little more detail, but um, the cam rides down here. Uh, on to the roller right here and it's just a metal to metal contact high speed aggressive to low cam <clears throat> the problem is these are not guided um, so they can actually rotate and uh, they can cause skidding basically here and then it just starts to create metal shrapnel uh, which goes through the rest of the fuel system um, these are not guided as i mentioned also so as this is rotating they can and do at times turn 90 degrees, and then there's no way for that roller to roll anymore. It stops rotating and then just becomes a metal to metal skidding action, which is what happened to this cam, which is why it's so pivoted. <clears throat> and it happened with this roller here, you can see in the microscope, it basically just started digging, uh, skidding in this roller area. That causes catastrophic failure of the pump and also sends that metal debris throughout everything else. So if you ever take your truck to a shop with a suspected CP4 failure, the first thing they're going to do is pull the metering unit off the top and look at that screen to see if there's metal debris there. That's a telltale sign on if the CP4 has failed or not. Um, there is a screen there which the fuel has to go through before it goes to the top end of the pump and your injectors. But that screen is obviously not enough because when the CP4s fail, it almost always wipes out the whole fuel system, rails, high pressure lines, injectors, return lines, everything needs replaced. So it's a very, very costly and painful failure and repair. So because of that, we've developed this kit to address it. But first, we'll show how um, the, fuel, the fuel flows through this pump. So it comes from the tank through an electric pump uh, to your filters and then into the pump here. And hopefully you can see in the camera there uh, the port that it comes in. So it comes from the tank to the bottom end of the pump first. And then the metering unit here is actually what throttles the fuel going to the high pressure pumping elements and to the injectors. So the only way to get into this metering unit cavity is through that port right there, which comes from the bottom end of the pump. So, when failures like this happen, which is not uncommon, unfortunately, that goes to the metering unit and then to the high pressure pumping elements to the rest of the fuel system. Um, that, as I said, is a very painful and costly uh, problem. So, this kit was developed to be uh, a cheap alternative uh, and be cheap insurance, essentially, to protect the rest of your fuel system. So, in the kit, um, decals, color instruction booklets on how to do the installs, and then the key components are 
this custom uh, bill of aluminum block and um, hose which connects from your factory fuel system to this block. So what this does is it basically takes the place of the meter unit here, bolts there, and then the meter unit attaches to it. So what that does is it no longer allows fuel to flow to the meter unit from the bottom end. The hose attaches to this, which is coming straight from your filters. So the cleanest fuel in the whole system coming straight from the filters is what this kit now feeds to the metering unit and more importantly then directly to the the top end of the pump which is the high pressure side and goes to your injectors so if and when the bottom end fails it blocks that debris and forces it to go back through the return and through your filters before it gets to the rest of the system <clears throat> so that allows for um, the rest of your system to only get the clean fuel that it needs. Uh, it can't keep the CP4 from failing, failing, but the CP4 is cheap compared to the rest of the system. So it basically protects uh, the rest of the more expensive components. Injectors, rails, lines, everything else that has to come with it and expensive labor uh, involved in that. So um, it is possible for there to be other failure modes of the CP4, of, of course. Um, but they are not nearly as common, almost non-existent, but we have seen on rare occasion a pump that uh, just doesn't build pressure properly, and sometimes that can be an, a valve issue, which is an inlet or outlet valve in this top of the head here. But that is more of a leakage problem and is not a catastrophic wipe out the whole rest of the fuel system problem. So there's some misconceptions about whether this kit uh, protects from all CB4 failures. Um, but it protects from the CP4 failure that is the expensive CP4 failure that causes it just uh, damage to the rest of your system. Um, this is the only kit, there are some knockoffs of this kit now. This is the original. Um, it's uh, USA made and the only one that is 50 state carb compliant. Um, we've gone through the trouble of making it uh, uh, 50 state legal got Carbio numbers with it and uh, it's a high quality US made kit so uh, it's cheap insurance and uh, we try to develop products like that to help save the customers money in the long run um, if you got any questions or comments feel free to uh, post them we'll try to get those answered as quickly as we can and we'll uh, look forward to doing some other tech videos on new products and, uh, and other fuel system needs so thanks for watching